uh, Michael Essie landed on the back of some guy. You saw it, Max? Yeah. Um, this is the, the fastest guys there are the 30-plus uh. pros. They are the fastest riders there. They, they're on 450s for the most part. They have a 25-plus or no? Yeah, but that, that they're not as good as these okay. guys. Okay. Uh, uh, well, Moseman won, but anyways. Um, so 30-plus pro, 450s, two gate drops, right? What's the second gate drop? You would think it'd be 25 pro. That'd be a good gate, second gate drop. 25, 30, 35. Maybe, uh, maybe 40 plus pro or 45 pro. That'd be a good gate drop. Like whatever. Something pro. 70 intermediate. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Let's make the second gate drop the plus 50, 125 guys. What the fuck? So you're on the slowest bike with the fastest guys. They go first and you're on the slowest bike. And this dude got cleaned out. And I hope he's okay. It's- one of the ugliest crashes I've ever seen. It's nasty. And, and Mike, I mean, I don't think I don't blame Mike. I don't blame Mike at all. There's a blind right Kiefer. I mean, he's coming over a tabletop. The guy's yeah, going super so slow. Yeah, so I saw the whole thing. I was there, and the the guy, you guys, you know, you guys saw the video, but like he was just something was wrong with his bike, or he's pointing at the crowd, or doing something, and he decided just to veer over just a little bit. And Mike came over, and and I will give this to Mike. Like on that jump, it's semi blind, so you can't see the downside until you're up over the top of it. And he and you're going. It's a straightaway, so you're going fast. And he just landed directly on this guy's back. And I thought for sure both of them would be down, but Mike crawled off. And uh, yeah, they red flagged it after after this. And from what I heard, and this is what I heard today. The latest on the gentleman was it was scary because he couldn't feel his legs for a while. I've heard since then that he has regained feeling. So I hope so. Um, that is good news. Yeah. Uh, so. Unbelievable. But why would you put plus 50 125s for your second gate drop? Yeah. Yeah, dude. And there was all, and there <laughs> I, wasn't that many of the 125 50 guys, you know, like why my, would you do my that? My guess would be someone had that job that doesn't really understand the dynamic. I mean, that's really. The I, only... I don't know. Yeah. Honestly, the whole thing. Like, listen, I, we've said this so many times, and I don't. I know John at W gets a little. He doesn't get mad at us, but you know, he works with the Glen Helen people, and. But dude, this whole thing. This is people from around the world come to this place, right? It's the World Vet Championships, Max. It's the world title. World. World. And like with just you have a, a sharpie, I'm gonna cross that off. <laughs> with just a little more money spent for a little more staff and organization. It would be so much better. Take the time to groom a couple times a day. Have some organization on what race is going on the gate. Have some re- th- they, thoughts about. Are they super pressed for time? They always are. Every okay. single year, because okay. well, not last year because know. it was muddy and COVID. But every single year they're pressed for time and they cut yeah. the laps and they have too yeah. many entries and they have too many classes because they just want to get the money in. I'm not told the story over and over. My buddies from Canada came down. They were all underage, but they drove down with their older guys, friends, and they just raced. And no one checked their IDs. <laughs> no one checked their IDs. <laughs> Nobody cares. Got to get the medals. Nobody cares. So they showed up. They were underage. And they raced. Noof, did they check your ID at all? <laughs> they did not. You could have raced any fucking class you wanted. They, uh, hey, yeah, I was just an honest guy and raced the class that I was 